Long time no see, long time no see. Welcome back to the channel. This will be the lesson video of the WC Premiere Rhapsody. Finally. Always the big question Coco Bolo or Granadillo? So, this is a very traditional French piece. So, which one of you guys? What? What? I don't wanna play. What? You wanna play? Good! But let me put not this barrel, but this barrel. This is the mobile barrel. Possibly this will have a little more gentle sound. First question for WC, what kind of read we need for that? You know, that's a pretty tricky question because uh, there are so many supposed to be beautiful pianos, so maybe a little lighter, easier read is maybe easier to make some beautiful piano. What do you think? What do you think? Are you my friend? Are you my friend? Let's see. Hey, Claude. You know this was never personal. It's just business. If you get all the little dirt from your mouthpiece, you can you can get better sound. I would say what kind of read you need is uh, up to the size of the hole. First of all, this piece is super, super sensitive, uh, many beautiful pianos, light staccato, so you need something to be able to control that. But if it's a bigger environment, then basically you are good with a stronger read because the little noises and everything what is coming out from the sound, what is coming together with your sound, that will disappear in a larger environment. Is usually the part that you remember anyways. This kind of lesson is always very detailed. Like, uh, like you are on the top of the roller coaster. And that kind of feeling when, when your weight pulls you down. And so what I can recommend is a kind of wait on the long note, wait on the long note here until you can. And uh, the first short note, this is very much connected to, to the next notes. You can practice. On this note, what you need is, uh, of course it's a crescendo, but the tricky thing on the clarinet is uh, you may think that you are making a crescendo, but basically in the lower register, by the um, increasing of the air, the color is already changing. But in the higher register, you can notice that I'm playing more, but the color doesn't change drastically. So when I have to make a crescendo, what I always keep in mind is I have to make the listener understand that I'm making a crescendo. So what I want to say is uh, here on this note, I have to show with color. So, so until you don't open enough, it's not easy to notice that you made actually a crescendo. So always try to set up um, the amount of your dynamic change up to, is it possible to understand that or not? And you come back to So, you know, just like voice. How much you open, how much you don't open. That note easily can go a little too high. What I'm doing is, this is the, the uh, B, natural, 
and uh, usually I'm playing with this stone hole. If I feel it's a little too high, I start to cover. If I go back uh, to smaller piano, I start to cover and after I start to open So basically this is up to your ear, you have to take care of uh, keep listening how your intonation changes, but it's super important. Staccato is written, staccato is not written, but we have to speed up uh, to, to the scared sandal. So what happens, how you speed up, in any case, the tonguing will sound shorter. So uh, if you just play then nothing happens. What you can do is keep super connected notes in the first bar and the second bar uh, go a little more crazy on the staccato. Also, if you go too short with the staccato, so it's also it's not attractive. This is also up to your taste. Anyway, he wrote this little nuance, therefore we have to show it. important thing in the anime if you try to practice like this is also one kind of practice but basically you should keep in mind that there is a limited amount of time how many times you can play the trill I try to aim two or three actually for me two works the best La -da 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 -dum, da -da -dum. Because two can uh, pretty much sound like a little accent. Because this part is also about uh, kind of separation. One and one and and go to the long one. So if it's I think maybe this is not what he wanted. I'm not sure though. That's also worse, but for me it's much more. Another very useful finger. Switch for, for the grace note, switch to this, this G. Sorry. And it's easier to, to switch to E flat. Okay. Debussy was something like that. Thank you very much to watch this video. You can also support us on Patreon. It's really a big thing for us to have your support because we really try to grow up as a team and as a project and uh, every support is very, 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 very appreciated. So always thank you for supporting and watching. Please let me know your thoughts uh, in the comment section also, for example, what kind of uh, things you are interested in, in such kind of lesson video, what kind of things you want to learn. I really appreciate every opinion, so just, just leave a comment. See you in the next video and thank you for watching always.